Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're gonna go over how to draw a dabbing ghost. I know, I went to this point probably like a year or two late. Uh, okay, we're gonna start with a marker and a piece of paper. It's for beginners, so if you're a complete beginner, you should be able to do this, okay? So let's start. Grab a marker, preferably Sharpie, whatever you have. If you don't know what to get, you can uh, like check out the description. I put the, the, the tools that I use here, including the paper. This is just printing paper. So let's get going. First thing I'm gonna do is I am going to a hump shape at the top. Also, before I forget, don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna be posting three times every single weekday. So that is like 15 new videos a week. And I'm gonna try to organize all those into playlists so that they're very easy to digest. And you can always just go through the playlist and check out all kinds of things. Um, there's gonna be a bunch of different versions of like a lot of the same thing, a lot of ghosts, different versions, witches, um, what else? Pumpkin. A lot of different versions of stuff to give you choice, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Also, I'm going to start a Facebook page. Sorry, I'm rambling here before I start this. I'm going to start a Facebook page where you can post your drawings. Uh, I'm just going to make it open. I haven't announced that yet. Sorry. Sorry for that. Anyways, let's get back to this. One hump right here. And I want it to be at an angle because he's going to be dabbing, right? So then his arm comes around here, pulls back. And that's going to be his arm, his dabbing arm, right? Both arms. And then I'm going to throw his arm back there. Got his ghost dabbing arm. And then I'm going to, let's see, I'm trying to think of like, okay, I'm going to pull his body downward here. And then it's going to connect down here as well. So that's pretty much the body positioning. It's really simple. If you're just even near this, let's say yours is a little fatter, yours is a little like, I don't know, thinner, it will work. Ghosts are very uh, malleable. The designs of ghosts are very easy. It's just a few different attributes. And I guess ghosts tend to end in two different ways. One, they tend to end like in this like, I don't know. They tend to draw them in this spirity way. I don't know, like it ends at a point. And then sometimes they end like a Pac-Man ghost. You know, you've seen versions of that on here. Or it's just like a loose sheet. It's really uh, up to you, but I like this, the way this turns. And then over here, we're gonna go to the mouth and face. So I am going to do the mouth first because the mouth is gonna be somewhat blocked by his hand. <laughs> and then right here I'm gonna make his eyes now and you can draw a bunch of different eyes you could draw the little upside down U eyes but I am gonna choose to draw just some regular eyes right here just a like a circle see like his mouth looks happy enough Two circles, these two circle egg shapes. And that's it. That's a dabbing ghost. Easy, right? Super easy. If you did that, do me a huge favor. Comment, say you did it. Uh, also, even if, you know, like it's something went wrong, you could always rewind it and do it again. It is, it's really, really simple to do this. I know it sounds complicated when you call it like dabbing, you know, you gotta do a certain pose. Super easy. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed that, please do me a huge favor. Share the video. When you share the video, we get the Halloween spirit going. We got two. It's right now as I'm doing this, I'm going to date myself. It is August 3rd. We have two full months before Halloween. If it's already Halloween and you're watching this on Halloween, hello. Hi. Happy Halloween. But we got a while. Let's, let's really kick up the volume on this, on the Halloween spirit. It's early. All right. Thank you so much and stay spooky.